Tommy Fury, the younger brother of Tyson Fury, versus Andy Bishop. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? If you guys don't know yet, uh, these two fighters, Fury, <laughs> fighters, <laughs> Fury and Bishop, uh, are, are set to fight in the undercard of uh, Daniel Dubois versus uh, Dinu on the sixth. I mean, the fifth of June, June 5, twenty twenty one. I keep forgetting that in the UK they have it flipped with the uh, the dates. Um, but yeah, on the 5th of June, uh, they'll be fighting over in the UK. Uh, yeah, tune in to BT Sport if you live in the UK. And I guess here in the States, I'm not entirely sure. I'm hoping that maybe ESPN Plus will pick it up. You know, why not? And uh, yeah, who's going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, so yeah, this fight between Fury and uh, Bishop, uh, to those who doesn't know who Tommy Fury is, like I said, he is the younger brother of Tyson Fury, aka TNT. 5 0, 4 wins come by way of Nakar TKO. This will be his sixth professional fight. So far, he's uh, fought guys who have zero losses and a bunch of, I mean, zero wins and a bunch of losses. Uh, the best fighter he's fought to be, eh. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that resume. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's just a bunch of stay busy fights. That's basically what it is. Um, so yeah, and here he's found himself fighting another guy who has zero losses and 14, zero wins and 14 losses. Jesus, I'm getting those mixed. Uh, so yeah, he's 38 years old, Andrew Bishop. And um, yeah, he's pretty much just uh, a guy that they hired to. To, for fighters to beat up on and that's the same case for Tommy Fury just to go out there and get a W if he doesn't knock out Andy Bishop yeah, that, that would be embarrassing I mean let's, let's be honest oh man Tommy Fury continues to fight this type of fighters he needs to really fight somebody else man it, a lot of people get the reputation a lot of people believe that he's actually a real fighter like he he actually has a good amateur background if you guys don't know he doesn't really have much of an amateur background just because he's a Fury doesn't mean he's a fighter. He's a boxer. That's why I think him versus uh, Jake Paul would be a competitive fight because both of them don't really have that much of a, a of a boxing experience as an amateur and as well as a professional. Both fighters have been fighting guys that we know they can beat, and that's what they've been doing lately. Both Tommy Fury and and Jake Paul. So you know. Why not? I think it would be a pretty competitive fight. Jake Paul versus Fury. A lot of people think that Fury is going to win that fight because he's somewhat considered a boxer, but that's not the case. He's actually not much of a boxer like Jake Paul. Yes, he has his brother and his dad, you know, training him and prepping him for fights, but, you know, it's, it's, I'm going to be honest, Tommy Fury hasn't really impressed me that much over the, since he turned pro. He still has to go out there and fight somebody decent and show to me that he can fight. And Jake Paul, the same, I mean, same goes for Jake Paul, but Jake Paul is pretty entertaining. He's all about entertainment. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see how this one plays out. Uh, Fury, if he goes the distance with this guy, this guy, Andy Bishop, has been stopped twice only. Twice in his career. If he goes the distance against him, oh my goodness, man. That would be kind of embarrassing, we'll be honest. But we will see. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right. Thanks.